you know, you you talk about um, not just in in general, but how personal performance of the entrepreneur is one of the main drivers of of business growth. If someone was to ask you, how is that, and you know, what led you to feeling that obviously personal performance is one of the main drivers? How would you explain to someone that maybe not doesn't realize that it actually acts as one of those drivers towards success? Yeah, so I think I think whatever it is that you want to do, whether it's it's lead flow or it's growing a brand or it's reaching out to people that you should be reaching out to, first of all, you can do more of it. You can do you, you can reach out to more podcasts, you can reach out to more more people people with your cold call, your cold email, whatever you can reach out to. You can you can basically do everything that you're doing more if you dial in with your energy levels, your focus, your your you know, you're in momentum, you you're not getting distracted, all these things. Um, but also the quality of the work will be better. So right now, if I were to write uh, a bunch of copy for my ads on my, my uh, website, or I was about to go on a sales call, I was about to go on a podcast like this, I would rather have the right energy. I'd rather feel good. I'd rather be focused. I'd rather be my best self. And we see these athletes, right, an, an NBA, NFL uh, player, and they, they do every single thing in their power to p- put themselves in situations where they can perform, right? They're in a position to perform. And we look at that and we go, yeah, obviously, of course, he takes care of his sleep. Of course, he, he wants to stay focused. He's an athlete. He wants to perform. Yeah, but what about the entrepreneur that has a team? He needs to lead. He's on camera a lot. Maybe if he's doing a lot of content, stuff like that. He, he's writing. He's communicating. He's sometimes, you know, working a lot of hours. Why shouldn't he or she be put in a position where their performance is, is optimal? So that's one thing. But also just I've talked to a lot of entrepreneurs. I've been helping people for about nine years now. And when I ask people, hey, what's your number one problem in business? Ah, uh, it's, I don't have enough leads. Okay, why don't you have enough leads? Ah, uh, because of this and that. Okay, why? 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 And I, and I go down to the root and it's almost always, ah, oh, well, I'm, I guess it's fear or I guess it's procrastination or I guess I'm just overwhelmed. I'm not sure what to focus on when. So so I would say most of the entrepreneurs that I work with, especially like below, I don't know, maybe below 100K per month or stuff like that. It's it's very much the the person that if you dive deep, it's always something related to their own performance or way of thinking or way of working. 